Before you brew Gyruda, Doom of Deaths, also known as Gigan, Cyberclaw Terror, watch this video to find out the different ways you can build it. Gyruda, Doom of Deaths, is four hybrid blue black, hybrid blue black for a legendary creature demon Kraken. Companion. Your starting deck contains only cards with even mana value. If this card is your companion, you may put it into your hand from outside the game for three mana anytime you could cast a sorcerer. When Gyruda enters the battlefield, each player mills four cards. Put a creature card with an even mana value from among the milled cards onto the battlefield under your control. Six, six. And make sure to stick to the end of the video where I'll be showing some of the best cards in many Gyruda decks. The first thing to decide with Gyruda is whether you want it as your commander or as the companion. I will cover both of these to help you decide, and info for one will likely apply to the other as well. Gyruda is viable in play EDH mid, low, and battle cruiser, and is surprising budget friendly. I think a $50 budget deck would work incredibly well in low power, and a $150 budget could work in mid, although this is dependent on archetype. Since Shiruda will only allow you to recur even CMC creatures, you'll have to find the right balance between odd and even CMC creatures. The non-creatures aren't affected since they can't be recurred anyways. Unless, of course, you're running Gyruda as the companion, and I'll talk more about that later. I think that for value creatures, or anything you're not hoping to flip off Gyruda, you might as well run odd CMC ones if they're much better than the even CMC ones. If you are hoping to flip it off Gyruda though, only run the even CMC cards. Gyruda works as the commander for many archetypes, and there's a lot of overlap between them. The four main archetypes are Clone, Flicker, Mill, and Big Stuff. Clones and Flicker will be used in almost every Gyruda deck, and you can build decks around one or both of these concepts. But even if you don't want to build around them, they'll still likely play a large role in your deck. Use a clone to make a copy of Gyruda. One of the Gyrudas will die to the legend rule, but you'll still get Gyruda's trigger so you can mill and get another creature. The idea of Flicker as an archetype is to cast spells in creatures which exile a creature then return them to the battlefield. This is good since if we Flicker Gyruda, we can have another Gyruda trigger and cast something else for free. We can use flicker cards to get more triggers and flip into even more flicker. Mill. Gyruda will mill your opponents with their triggers. So if you fill the deck with ways to get more Gyruda triggers and other ways to mill your opponents, you can mill them out fairly quickly. You can also cheat out expensive mill creatures with the trigger. Think of it as normal mill with some clones and flicker. Big stuff. The idea here is to run even CMC large creatures in your deck. This way, when you flip with Gyruda, you'll be likely to have something that will get you a lot of value or even win you the game. Eldrazi are great with this, but really any large creature will do the trick. This archetype is harder to pull off on a budget though, since large and powerful creatures tend to be expensive. You can also run top of library manipulation cards to increase the likelihood of you getting something useful. Clones and flickers can also give you more chances to get good stuff. If you want to run Gyruda as a companion to your deck, you'll have to run only even CMC commanders and only even CMC cards. So how does running only even cards affect the deck? Well, first of all, it messes up the curve. You can only run a few CMC6 cards to maintain a good curve, so you mostly have to run two and four CMC cards, which eliminates a lot of options. This means that there are less staples to lean on and your deck will be more unique, but harder to make. You can also run some zero CMC cards if you have a higher budget. To make a good companion for Gyruda, it must be blue, black, or more, and even CMC and have some synergy. Here are some good examples. Sakashima of a thousand faces and Tormod the Desecrator because two commanders isn't enough. Sakashima will make a copy of Gyruda and get you another trigger. Plus you'll be able to keep all the copies you make since the legend rule won't apply. Tormod the Desecrator will give you a zombie every time you recur a creature with Gyruda. Even if you only have lands in hand, you can still move Gyruda into your hand on turn three, cast Tormod on turn four, cast Gyruda on turn six and get a trigger and a zombie, and cast Sakashima on turn seven to get another trigger and another zombie. You will build up a board very quickly with this setup. Muldrotha the Grave Tide or Cedrith the Traitor Crane. Muldrotha or Cedrith will let you cast your clones from the grave. Cast a clone and copy Gyruda. Because of the legend rule, you'll have to kill one of the Gyrudas, so choose your clone. You'll get a Gyruda trigger so you can get a creature and you can use Muldrotha's ability for a Gyruda trigger every single turn. Gyruda will also mill you so you can have other good cards in the yard to cast with Muldrotha. Sidisi Brood Tyrant will give you zombies as you mill from Gyruda Trigger. It's just a way to increase our board presence. In addition, it can take advantage of clones and flicker if Gyruda isn't out. Not to the 
the same extent, but useful nonetheless. Good cards in many Jet Ruta decks. There are 17 even CMC creature clones. And I will leave a link in the description to that Scryfall search. I recommend you run as many as you can within your budget. There are many Flicker cards, which are good as well. I will also leave a link to that Scryfall search. Other good cards include Nightmare Shepherd, Panharmonicon, Micaeus the Unhallowed, and Gary, also known as Grey Merchant of Aspidal. I found many decks that are well-made versions of their archetype, and I will link those below. I will also link some other helpful Scryfall searches. Watch this video next to find out what everything on this iceberg means.